At least six people have died in an outbreak of the new coronavirus, which also is now reached the United States. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has confirmed the first U.S. case has been detected in Washington State. The patient is in isolation, recently returned from Wuhan, China, where the SARS-like respiratory illness was first detected last month. Okay, so it's 12.51 at night, and I was kind of just thinking about what happens when all of this is over. Like, when they announce it's over, how long is it going to take for people to actually go outside again? How long is it going to take for things to be normal? Or if they're even, like, going to be the same? Like, people still want to hug each other? Will people still get scared if someone coughs in public? Like, what's going to change? And how long will it take for things to be the same again? I did not brush my hair. And I have no makeup on. So you're welcome. I haven't left my house in 36 days and it's really, really starting to suck. I miss my friends so much like I would do anything to get out of this house and go hang out with them and go give them a hug so right now I'm heading to my friend Victoria's house to pick up her, some yeast for um, a project that's to do for microbes of man tomorrow we're eating pancakes um, it's a new tradition that we've started Just made some cookies. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's really awkward. Uh -oh. <laughs> Two, one. Um, it's a new tradition that we've started since, um, <laughs> since, um, we've been in quarantine. I'm ATE's Nick Alexander, and today I'm going to teach you how to make spaghetti a la mode, one of my favorite dishes to make at home. Hi everyone, today in quarantine we are going to be making brownies. Featuring my mom, her sous chef. Okay. What up, ATE Kitchen? Um, I'm gonna be making arepas, which are like a common Venezuelan like, like dish. I guess I don't know how to describe it. Gently rub it against the zester. There's a small this, and I don't know if that's correct, but apparently I don't. Let it wait for three minutes. I think everyone's just so bored. We've all learned how to become professional chefs. I mean, I've never touched a stove in my life and here I am trying to make fine cuisine. What is going on right now? Everyone is so, so bored. That's all we have. And enjoy. Good morning from my bed on. It's Monday. I think it's May 4th. Yeah. So, um, I don't know if you can hear it behind me, but, uh, there's a huge food truck back there. I had this, like, I don't know, I was trying to, like, piece my thoughts about quarantine. I haven't really, like, thought about it a lot or, like, I don't know, put, like, deep thought into it. 
but I did today it's just because I'm so bored and I just started thinking about like what am I doing during quarantine what is what are my thoughts and I don't know um it's like I think there's around 25 30 people out there um this is exactly the problem that that I feel like I don't know how to feel about quarantine because I've seen so many, like, there's, I feel like there's a whole, like, quarantine culture, if that makes sense, about, like, people doing this and people doing that, and you have to be productive during quarantine, or this is the time to, like, relax and do nothing with your life, or whatever, whatever, and I don't know how to feel about that. There's so many different things that people are doing that it's, like, influencing other people, and... To me, I'm not really picking up on those um, other things that people are doing. I'm kind of just going at my own pace, doing what Hunter would do, like, normally. I don't know. I, uh, I, I'm not following what other people... I, not that I have to. I just I don't feel like doing what other people are doing and following what they're doing or taking... I don't know. This whole, like, culture is weird to me. I don't know. I've just been doing kind of whatever um my parents obviously have limitations on me and like they don't want me to like visit people and go out of the house and whatever but i'm just existing i'm i should be productive but i don't feel like it i don't if i don't want to be productive i won't my senior year was really great i got to have both my senior nights for football and basketball cheer i got to have my homecoming dances um i got to have my boyfriend fly down a lot and I got to go visit him a few times last semester which was really nice. I do whatever I want to do and I think that's important for people to understand. They don't have to be doing a certain thing. It's something that they enjoy, whatever they want to do. This is why we can't have nice things. And for me that's just, you know, being neutral. You don't have to feel good, you don't have to feel bad, you feel neutral about it. And that's my two cents have my message out there that you really don't have to be doing anything so peace and chill vibes you know happy senior prom today is prom today is prom it's prom it's, it's prom tonight so i think i'm just gonna take you guys through my night routine and i'm gonna be doing my makeup and dressing up and putting my dress on and stuff Instead of going to prom, I am stuck in my house. Me and my best friend, we're gonna, we're gonna get dressed tomorrow um, and take pictures. I didn't have like a dress or a date. I didn't even know who I was gonna sit with yet. I am so incredibly sad that I'm missing it. I don't know. It's just something I wanted to do. I haven't worn makeup in like. How long? A month, maybe? What am I talking about? <laughs> I'm so bored. But I did have like a three hour nap today because there was nothing to do. And then my mom forced me to shower. So I'm kind of like up and about. And I had like four cookies, like just now. So I would have to say like my mental health has been like very plummeting during all of this. Like. I'm just not used to being in the house for so long and just being like with my family for so much. But like, if you can, just like try and go outside, try and do as much as you can. Like be outside, like if you have a pool, go lay out at your pool. Like if you have a car and you can drive, like just go for a drive. Guys, it is April 26th, it's around 6.30 in the afternoon. Um, I'm currently on the lake with my cousins, and we did some wake surfing today, some tubing, and um, it's been a fun day. It's probably like the first thing, like active thing um, that I've done the past like month, two months. Here's me and my mom doing some yoga. Um, 
One of the positive things quarantine has brought me is a lot of bonding time with my family. And my family as a whole has gotten to spend a lot more time together, whether it's playing board games or just having a lot more family meals than we usually get to or hanging out outside together. I'm just really thankful that quarantine has brought me closer to my family before I go to college and I don't get to see them nearly as much.